Alright guys, Gemini, back with another video. You know what I, I can't stand about WWE these days? I can't stand how it's become a uh, smart fest um, indie promotion. The WWE has become nothing but an over-glorified independent promotion. They take in all the entertainment aspects out of the WWE and just put it right in the, the Smarks uh, wheelhouse. I, I, I mean, and then these smarks here on the internet, you know, you try to tell them, like, hey, you know, wrestling used to be a lot better. And then they'll go, well, NXT Brooklyn! NXT Brooklyn was the the, the greatest show of all time. And wrestling's never been more fun than it is now. Fuck that. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, the Rock. Uh, Triple H. Undertaker. Uh, Mick Foley. Uh, Ric Flair. Ricky the Dragon. Steamboat. I mean, if anybody's going to tell me that this shit that they're putting on Monday Night Raw is worth watching with Kevin Owens as the world champion, a universal champion, you know, and then a, a UK tournament, I I hope to God, I hope to God every single one of your smarks get your panties all wet watching this UK tournament and this 205 crap, and uh, it's just become nothing but a, a smart fan, and I, I am not going to participate in any of this new era bullshit until they start making some stars, start getting some attitude, start having some fun on fucking Raw anymore. You know, I just... The internet wrestling fan is... And just the wrestling fan in general has just changed so much. When the hell do you go to WrestleMania to watch the indie stuff? You know, you go to WrestleMania because it's the show of shows. And uh, this past year in Dallas, I told you guys this a million times, I'm sitting there with just a bunch of smarks all I could talk about was the little guys, man. The cruiserweights. And uh, all this independent BS. And I'm like, hey, are you guys like here to see Shane and The Undertaker? Oh, no, we're here to watch uh, Nakamura. And I'm like, God, these fans have just changed so much. Even if you look on the Wiki Wikipedia or whatever the fuck it is, on the WrestleMania 32, that's all they put on the Wikipedia was, well, the NXT was fantastic. The ROH was fantastic. And I'm like, okay, so we just went to WrestleMania 32 with over 100,000 people, but we're worried about an NXT show with 2,000 people. I'm like, I hate the way that, that Triple H and Stephanie are running this shit. I hate the way that WWE has just become nothing but an indie, smart, panty wet and fest when Raw used to be worth watching. Like I said a million times, don't expect me, you know, an old school fan, Rowdy Rowdy Piper, Greg the Hammer Valentine, uh, Adrian Adonis, Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan, Ultima Warrior, Randy Macho Man Savage. Don't expect me to be participating in any of this crap. I am so turned off from the current WWE crap. I'm not even watching. Golden State Warriors. That's where it's at, man. Fucking fast, exciting, fun. That's the shit I'm going to watch tonight when they play the Nuggets. I think I'm going to sit there for a three-hour snooze fest to watch Sami Zayn get beat up. I mean, you're dead wrong. You think I'm going to sit there and watch this, the cruiserweight with her stupid purple ropes? You're, you're wrong. And, uh, yeah, I'll watch the Royal Rumble. I sure as fuck am not watching it for any of these new guys. I hope Braun Strowman goes in there, and I hope he throws out every one of these little cruiserweights. You know, cruiserweights and independent guys should be, yeah, part of the show. Put them on the first two matches. But... You know, is it necessary to just fucking have them eight, nine matches? Yeah, I'll give WWE credit. They've advanced the women's division a ton. Um, yeah, the women's division, they've, they've killed it with. The women's division is fun to watch. I mean, they've done a really, really good job with that. But none of the WWE guys really have characters anymore. None of them really have personality anymore. I see a guy like Dolph Ziggler get in the ring. I just want to turn that shit off and watch the old Survivor Series 87, you know, where larger than life characters even though the production or whatever back in the day the golden era like wasn't all that at least you cared about every wrestler who came on tv at least you wanted to watch at least you could sit through the matches i came up with the wrestlemania 4 tournament when you go back and watch wrestlemania 4 the tournament you know a million times you rent that table that we i wouldn't rent any of this shit today if i didn't have 30 years behind me of being a wrestling fan I would not fucking watch. I would skip it. I, I mean, I do have 30 years behind me. I skip Raw every week. I skip SmackDown every week. 
I sure as hell ain't watching no UK bullshit. I sure as ain't watching no cruiserweight bullshit. I'm not participating in it. I, I can't stand it. I'm not watching any NXT stuff. I could care less. Well, you're out of touch. I'm not out of touch. I just came up in a time when wrestling didn't suck. And they made you want to watch every single Monday night. You know, uh, they don't make you want to watch no more. So, say what you say. That's how I feel.